going on family you guys are so amazing let me ask you a question are you a pastor preacher or church leader and you wish you had an outlet that you can go to where you can gain some advice or better yet you can stop at a speed bump before you fall and trip yourself well guess what this is what i've created this is the video for you let's go you for clicking on this video here at this channel our mission is to empower the world to never give up through motivational videos and also how-to videos as well but today is the classic the AOS inspires classic had I known had I listened I created this series the whole reason I created this series was because I was talking to a pastor and he said this I wish I had somebody to talk to because I'm going through a financial issue at my church and I really don't know how to handle it and it made me think how can I help bridge the gap between pastors, preachers, and church members all across the world so that they won't have to go through the same trials and tribulations that their next door neighbor goes through. Because the danger part in the body of Christ, we don't want to talk to nobody that we're not close to. So we would rather suffer in silence. So I had a God sparked in my heart to create a series to help with all that. So I want you to listen to some great pastors that you may look up to, that you may know. Give their account to had I known, had I listened, my life, my ministry would look totally different. Had I listened, I think one of the things that I would have done differently, I'm 27 years old, I have a beautiful son um, who I love dearly. However, I find myself in the relationship with him trying to build myself and repair myself. Had I known, had I listened, I think I would have took better care of me. Um, there's a lot of uh, rejections, there's a lot of failures, there's a lot of insecurities um, that I fought with and that I had to navigate through that I did not want to be portrayed in front of my son. And so I spend time now at 27 that I think maybe at 18, 21, that if I really would have learned and recognized behaviors, issues, problems, things I was scared to do, things I was scared to try again, that maybe I wouldn't be at 27 trying to correct those particular issues and those problems. Uh, my big brother um, who does these different videos every week talks about how a preacher needs to be whole and I can't stand him, but I love him, uh, Dr. Walker, because I realized through his videos that I wasn't whole. So if, if I could do anything, had I known, had I listened, I think I would have took better care of myself um, so that the people that I'm leading, the son that I love, and even the life that I'm heading to would have a better me instead of a broken me. This is had I known, had I listened. Oh, uh most of the time we live life looking backwards while trying to stay in the present. And I must admit, had I known, had I listened in this current state of pandemic that we're in, particularly those who are in ministry that are used to being on the road, on a plane once a month, every other week, now we are forced to be home. There are no revivals, there are no conferences, there are nothing, uh, nobody's having men's day, women's day, youth revivals. And so the question becomes, how is the preacher uh, maintaining his or her lifestyle if uh, there's no other passive or aggressive income? Uh, my mentors, uh, Bishop-elect uh, Kevin R. White, who passes the Covenant Church in Chesapeake when I was growing up, I had the privilege of being um, one of his godchildren, and he would always say that uh, every preacher needs seven streams of income. And, and being younger um, and making good money, I thought that it would always happen. I want to suggest that had I known, had I listened, not that I would not have uh, uh, had money, it's how do you manage it. And so whether it is uh, investing in the stock market, whether it is purchasing real estate, uh, the amount of money that most of us spend uh, on our clothes, uh, on jewelry, on cars, you know, that's wonderful. I think we ought to live nice. The Bible even says that if you uh, teach the word, you ought to live off of it. So I have no gripe with that. However, it's how we manage what it is that God has entrusted us. How do we become good stewards? 
And had I known, had I listened to invest that money and put it away instead of trying to keep up with uh, the status quo, uh, this pandemic, uh, this uh, COVID-19 crisis would not have affected many of us uh, like it is. And while many of us still have jobs, uh, we are what you call bivocational. Some of us are tri-vocational. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we have to be better managers of what God has given us. So had I known, had I listened, I probably at 35 should have been, man, I should have been a lot further along than where I am today. And I'm grateful uh, that uh, there's a saying that God looks out for babies and fools, although it's not scripture, and I'm too young to be a baby. Uh, but I thank God that even in my foolish ways, God has still been taking care of us. So had I known, had I listened, I probably would be a lot better off financially uh, and financially stable than I am today. Uh, and so um, it pays to listen and it pays to learn. This has been Had I Learned, Had I Listened. Had I known, had I listened. As I think back over the journey, um, as I must say it has been a wonderful journey, I think um, I would have listened to the person who told me to wait six months before I started to make changes. But I uh, waited a year versus six months. After a year, it's, uh, people started to kind of not want to adjust to any changes that were being made. And I found it quite interesting. However, you know, we pushed through it. But I would encourage anyone to, if you're gonna make any changes, do it like six months, don't wait a year, because people become complacent. We're always told to just love the, pe love the people, come in and preach, love the people and preach. But to adjust to what ministry is, you must implement some changes. I think I waited too long and uh, people got comfortable. However, we worked through it. So that's what I would have to offer to say, had I known <laughs> and what I would have listened to.